Good morning, Port. It's Monday, October 28th. Today's word will be high 65, low 48, Port the Cabin. Have a good day, Port. Port Blue. Good morning, Portland. Today's lunch is will be tacos, grilled cheese sandwich, peas, apple sauce. Have a great day, Portland. Rick McCubbins here again. Got my puppet Mick with me. He's going to help me talk a little bit about Red Ribbon Week starting this week. Well, how we doing there, Mick? Hi, Rick. This is Mick, my good buddy. Mick, you excited about Red yeah. Ribbon Week? I'm ready, Mick. You excited about all the activities the boys and girls are going to get to do? Yeah, let's have fun. All right. So, we'll catch you later. Just tune in for more activities for Red Ribbon Week. Born in Portland Elementary. This is Rick McCubbin, and I'm from the OSU Foundation, and I'm here to talk to you about Drug Prevention Week. We've got Red Ribbon Week coming up this week. We're going to talk about some activities and some things all this week that you're going to get to do to learn about drug prevention and bully prevention. Good morning, Portland. Today's Monday, October 28th. Welcome to school today. We're starting our first day of Red Ribbon Week, which is saying no to drugs, and we're also focusing on school safety. I hope everyone remembered to wear their red today. Red stands for you are standing up and saying no to drugs. We're also, again, focused on school safety. Remember, you pledge to keep your school safe by treating others the way you want to be treated. You're going to pledge to join others in the school to use teamwork to prevent bullying. You're gonna take the opportunity to think before you act and help others when you see the need and use your power to act. We're gonna use our power to act respect respectfully and help keep our school safe for everyone. Let's get ready for uh, Monday Madness. Remember, if your class is chosen and you have been on green all week, you get special time with Miss Jenkins. Today's class is Mr. Kelly's class. Mr. Kelly's class, those students that have been on green, you get time with Miss Jenkins today. Tomorrow to celebrate Red Ribbon Week is... Follow your dreams, don't do drugs, and Western isn't just a regular middle school anymore. It's now the Visual and Performing Arts Middle School. So it's the school you choose if you are um, have special talents and special training in arts, dance, and music. It also has a student leadership team with the Beta Club and with Technology and Student Council. And you can also find special activities there such as the Newspaper Club, Chess Club, Study Club, and some athletics. So that's the two features today, Thomas Jefferson and Western Middle School. Here at Portland today, we are going to have our Fresh Fruit and Vegetable Program. Today's middle school is Knight Middle School. Knight Middle School is located off of Blue Lick Road and their uh, slogan is on the prowl to 100% proficiency. Some highlights you'll find there is Prowl Academy. That's an academy that helps fifth graders transition into middle school. Some other great things that go on at Knight Middle School is they have an awesome sports program. They offer cheerleading, dance team, step team, they also have basketball, softball, and baseball, so lots of sports at Knight Middle School. They also offer something called breakfast in the classroom, so that was, those are unique characteristics for Knight Middle School. Let's talk about one more middle school today, Lassiter Middle School. 
Lassiter has the slogan, the pride is back. Also with your PJs, bring your favorite storybook to share and that will complete our Follow Your Dreams celebration um, in your pajamas. So let's move on to, we have two middle schools to talk about today. The first one is Jefferson County Traditional Middle School and that's an application school that you can apply to be in. And the special things about um, that traditional middle school is it is one of the highest scoring middle schools on te state test scores and it has lots of activities you can be in. They have tons of sports, lacrosse, cheerleading, football, field hockey, soccer, cross country, track, baseball, softball, wrestling, and even swimming. One of the most exciting things I think about Jefferson County Traditional Middle is they offer equestrian sports, and that's uh, sports that you learn um, with horseback riding and with horses, and that sounds exciting to me. They also offer award-winning band, chorus, and orchestra, and again, that's an application school. Another application school we want to talk about is also Johnson Traditional Middle, and they offer, again, a wide variety of activities, including... Um, technology program, dance team, cross country, volleyball for girls, softball for girls, baseball for boys, and track and basketball. So two great schools but are both application schools. So what does that mean if a middle school is an application school? That means that you're going to have to complete a writing activity to get into that school. So that's another reason, boys and girls, starting in kindergarten, that we work so hard on your writing skills. You have to use your writing skills in a lot of different ways, and one way you will have to be able to do them is when it's time to choose middle schools. In some cases, you have to write and explain why you want to go to that middle school and why that middle school should want you as a student. We're continuing with our focus on honor, and remember our mascot for that's the Golden Retriever. How are you showing honor today to your teachers, to the other students, and to all of our guests? We have two birthdays to celebrate today. We want to say happy birthday to Jesse Hammonds and Lil Dondrick PV. Happy birthday to you, and your birthday cards and pencils are here in the office. A reminder to fifth graders, drive of your life starts on Friday, and we need those permission slips back, so get those back to Miss Jackson. Everyone, have a marvelous Monday. Remember, focus on your work, and that looks like looking at your work. Make sure you're working hard throughout the work time. Keep your pencil moving, keep your brain going, and work through the struggle. Have a great day. Please stand for the We Can Pledge. I promise to hurt no one. I promise to hurt no one. In words or actions today. In words or actions today. I use my hands for helping. I use my hands for helping. I use my words for kindness. I use my words for kindness. I will, I will include everyone. I include everyone. Through personal responsibility, the personal responsibilities, having a positive attitude, having a positive attitude, giving quality workmanship, giving quality workmanship, I will be successful. I will be successful. We please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Happy Day, Portland.